Hey there, crafty friends. It's Amy from thecrazycraftlady.com. Today I'm sharing with you a thrift store project. I started with this print that I ordered online. I really, really liked the colors, as you can tell from my bench here. I love green. I like greens and blues in my home decor. And I just really, really loved this print. So I decided, and I will leave a link in the comments below or in the description below where you can find this print online pretty inexpensively. But I decided when I needed to frame it, I didn't want to spend a lot of money on custom framing. So I went to my local thrift store and I got this wooden frame. As you can tell, this is, it's just like cheap foam board and it's like a really wrinkled print. So the center is no good, but the frame is solid wood in pretty good shape. It is a little bit loose on one corner, so I'm going to have to fix that. But I'm going to show you guys how to take, I got this, it was $3. This is a $3 thrift store frame. I'm going to show you how to use some chalk paint to distress it and kind of change the look, update this, and have a brand new big framed art print. So I'm going to go ahead and put down just an old sheet to protect my uh, kitchen table here, my work surface. I'm going to tighten up some of these screws and then I'm going to get painting. Okay, so now I've got my work surface prepped. I've got my frame. I took the backing out the foam board, but I'm going to hold on to the foam board because I want to be able to reuse that when I put my art print, my poster back in. Um, my frame is kind of wobbly without that foam board in it, so I'm just going to leave this flat here for now. I'm going to talk to you about what we're going to need for this frame makeover. And I'm sorry if my head keeps popping in and out of the screen. I want you to be able to see my work surface, not so much my face. Okay, so I've got chalky finish paint and some craft paint here. Um, in theory, I would use all chalky finish paint, but I'm going to use what I have on hand instead of buying more supplies for my craft stash at the craft store. So I've got white chalky finish paint. This is um, American Decor from DecoArt. The color is Eternal. No, that's a different language. Everlasting is the color. ADC01. This is a bright, bright white. You don't want off-white. You don't want like lace or ivory or anything. You want a white chalky finish paint. I've also got some light blue. Um, this is home decor, folk art, chalk, and glacier. You could also mix some of your navy and your white so you don't have to have a third paint color. And then in theory, I would be using navy chalk paint, but I didn't want to buy more. And the navy that I have isn't quite deep enough. I want a true like dark navy. This is Americana from DecoArt acrylic craft paint in deep midnight blue and it is a deep like I mean it matches my sweatshirt. It's a deep navy. So that's what you'll need and then you're gonna need some wax. Instead of using like furniture wax I just use a little tea light. You can get like a bag of them for like a buck. They're really cheap. And then I've got my jar of paintbrushes here. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to clean your frame really, really well, and then we're going to come in with our navy blue paint. So I'm going to speed up and clean my frame. Okay, so this is completely clean. I just want to do a quick double check to make sure I get this crevice here really clean. And then before you paint, you want to take your chalk, or your wax, excuse me, just a little boat of candle. I'm going to peel off the metal from it, and I just want the wax. And I'm just going to pick some select spots around the frame 
where I don't, and I'm just going to use pretty firm pressure, but it's where I don't necessarily want the paint to stick the best. So just kind of pick some spots here and there. You don't want to do the whole thing. You want it to be, you know, kind of spotty. And the nice thing about this wood frame is that there's quite a bit of grain to it, so I'm able to get the wax into the grain. Flip this over. And I'm not going to worry about the back side of the frame, I'm just going to worry about the front and the sides. Okay, so I've got pretty happy with what I've got here. And then I'm just gonna wipe off any excess wax with my, my fingers here. So I'm just gonna brush all that away. Okay, so now I'm going to come in with my navy, this like midnight, deep midnight blue paint, and a one inch brush. Just testing my paint colors earlier. Okay, and then you just want to brush a little bit, nothing crazy. You're not gonna, you're not going for full coverage. You're just going to be layering. So you're going to layer your navy, and then your light blue, and then your white. So you want just different spots where the navy can, can poke through. I'm going to go all the way around my frame. I'll speed this up for you and I'll come back when it's time to do the light blue. So I'm going through and I'm just kind of touching up these original spots because this craft paint doesn't give me the best coverage. You'd get better coverage with, um, with chalk paint. So I'm just going to make sure that I've got pretty good coverage here uh, before I step away for an hour or so just to let my navy paint dry. Okay, so... This navy paint has dried, and I'm going to go ahead and grab my light blue chalk paint. Now, you could easily, if you only have navy and white, you could mix up a little bit, but I'm just going to use this because it's what I've got. Also, it's getting kind of old. It's pretty thick, so I think I want to use up what I can of this before I have to chuck it. Okay, you're just going to kind of piggyback on the areas that you painted navy, and I'm just gonna go around the frame here, and I'm just gonna paint little sections with light blue paint. Keep it super spotty, and just do little bits at a time, just like you did with the navy. I'm gonna speed this up and go around the frame.
All right, and now that my light blue paint has dried, I'm gonna go in with a wider brush and my white chalk paint, and I'm gonna do complete coverage, almost complete coverage, all the way around the frame. I'm just gonna leave, I'm gonna do kind of a dry brush technique, but I'm gonna leave most of, oh, that's pretty, sorry. I'm gonna do almost complete coverage, but I'm gonna leave just like a little bit of the wood grain poking through, so almost like a dry brush technique, but not quite, like dry brush plus maybe. So here, I'm just gonna go this and I'll show you a close up of what I'm trying to accomplish. There we go, so you can see There's a little bit of the grain showing through and it's kind of personal preference. So I'm going to go all the way around because, um, and you always want to do more paint than too little, I guess, because after all this white paint dries, you're going to go um, back with some sandpaper and kind of scuff it up. So I'm just going to go all the way around my frame with my white paint. Okay, now I've got everything painted and all of my paint is completely dry. So I'm gonna take my sanding block here. It's just like medium grit, whatever you've got. This is quite worn, I've used it on some other projects and I'm just gonna lightly sand my frame so I can distress um, my paint. And what's gonna happen here is one of the areas where we had waxed the wood, the paint is gonna come off pretty easily and you're gonna be able to see, it's gonna create kind of a chippy finish and you're gonna be able to see beneath some of the wood grain as well as some of the paint beneath. So I'm gonna get sandy. until I get the desired finish, but I'm gonna show you up close. You can see that corner. I'm starting to get a good chippy finish and along that side as well. And then when I've sanded to my desired finish, I'm just gonna take it outside and give it a spray coat with this satin clear um, Rust-Oleum finish just to protect everything. And then I'll pop my picture back in it and I'll be done. I then just used some Scotch permanent double-sided tape to secure my poster to the original foam backing that came with the picture frame when I bought it at the thrift store. I smoothed it out and then I took my pen blade knife to just trim off some of the excess paper just because my poster was about two inches longer than my frame. So I just trimmed both ends. And then I was able to pop the foam backing right back into the frame and secure it with the original hardware. I 
I'm so happy with how my picture frame turned out. I think it's a great uh, refreshing update to something that was originally just plain golden oak. If you enjoyed this tutorial, be sure to hit the like and subscribe button below so that you never miss a thrifty DIY home decor tutorial. Until next time, happy making!